Hey everybody, I wanted to talk you through setting up a gym boss interval timer. Frequently for the workouts that I post, the travel workouts, etc., um, we'll use gym boss as kind of the guide. You can obviously use any kind of timer you want to use, but gym boss is just kind of my favorite. I found it to be pretty easy. Um, just to get, kind of give you an idea, I set up some pretty crazy timer. So this is like an 81 interval timer. Um, a lot of them don't have to be this fancy, but you can just kind of see the level to what you can go to. You can color code them. You can type in the movements and stuff like that. So I want to take you through how to set one of these up. First of all, Gym Boss is the name of the interval timer. It is free. There is a premium version that you can do. I haven't tried it, so I don't know what the extra features are. So I'm just going to be talking you through the free version. So let's say that we're going to set up a interval with 30 seconds on for four different movements and then 45 seconds rest. So you're going to come down here just to give you an idea. I like to have a countdown. That means you can hit start and then kind of walk away from your timer, take a few seconds to get kind of set. And so I almost always do a 10 second. So you're just flipping the seconds um, countdown. And my preference is the countdown is always yellow. Obviously you can change these things for you, but whatever you wanna do. So then we're gonna go into a working interval. So it's going to be 30 seconds. So you're just going to adjust the seconds right there and then type in, um, I like to keep mine pretty simple for just basic workouts, so I just put work. And then hit um, green, I like green, it means go, right? So it has to be a working interval. Um, now, what you could also do to add another interval is you can do add new interval again, or you can hit it and it'll say duplicate. And then it just pops in the exact same interval. So I said we were doing four movements at 30 seconds. So let's say for example, it was like burpees, push-ups, jump lunges, and mountain climbers. So you got burpees, push-ups, jump lunges, mountain climbers. You're gonna need some rest in there. So our next interval, let's say it's a 45 second rest period. And so we're gonna go ahead and program that in. Okay, perfect. Save, oh wait, rest. And then rest has to be a different color, right? Just because it makes sense. Um, I like to do orange normally if it's a basic timer. Sometimes I'll do different colors. If it's, um, say some of my intervals are, you know, just 30 seconds. Actually, we'll use that as an example. So we're gonna go ahead and make rest orange. Okay, so you can see that. Now say we were going to go through that three times. What you can do if there's no changes to your interval is do three rounds and then you're set to go. But what if we were gonna go through it three times and then end with like an every minute on the minute challenge um, for three minutes? Then you've gotta program all that in so that it goes right into your every minute on the minute challenge without you having to switch to a different timer and stuff like that. So you wanna really think through what your intervals are going to be because like I said, if you're just doing three blocks of this, rock and roll, you're done. And then you're just gonna to wanna to type in a name and then hit save. But, so let's actually go ahead and do that just as an example. Um, let's call this um, the 30s. 30s work at rest. I like to give them cuter names than that. And if you don't, I will advise you on this because I've done this a few times. Give them good names that are going to help you remember because I have named several things go or fun just to type something in really quick and you will never find that thing again just so you know you'll be trying to like flip through all your timers and you're like well i don't remember what i named it okay so we're gonna hit save and then when you click out of there you'll see it is right there okay so let's just say though you wanted to end um after your three rounds with a bonus 60 second round, or like I said, in every minute on the minute, or you want to change those two Tabatas as you went. Let's go ahead and go with the every minute on the minute example, just because that would be a fairly easy one. Okay, so we said we're doing this three times. So we gotta go ahead and program that in. So now I've got two rounds of it. Almost. Now I've got three rounds of it. So now I wanna go into my every minute on the minute. And maybe I'm doing the same movements, um, but I'm doing five reps of each one. And every minute on the minute, I start that again. So that was just an example. Now, I think you've got to go with the different colors. So that's where the different colors comes in. Imam. And again, you can call your timers whatever you want to, but that would be a one minute. And then you're going to repeat that three times because I think we're going to do it three times. I would say after that, you are entitled to some serious rest time. 
Oh, wrong button. Hold on. Let's go back. So I got my three, and then we're going to add new interval. And rest. And let's get rest like a minute and a half on that one, because that was a pretty intense little interval. Actually, this is looking like a fun workout. We might have to try this. Okay. So now everything is programmed in. So your one block of that to do the entire thing would be 12 minutes and 45 seconds long. So if you were trying to make, let's say, a 45-ish minute workout, by the way, there's no warm-up on this, so you'd want to factor in some warm-up time too. That would be 38 minutes. That might actually be a workout we try. That looks like a good time. So anyways, I would actually change this now to 30s work and then EMOM. And then I would actually probably remember that and then save. So that's kind of your basics on just kind of how to use Gym Boss Interval Timer. Honestly, there's so many different intervals and stuff you can create. Like I said, there's premium ones also. You know what? Actually, there's a couple other things you should know. Um, if you come to your settings, this is a couple things you're going to want to do. Prevent sleep. So what this means is that while you're working, your timer won't go to sleep on you. And that's pretty important because say you're doing a um, Tabata and you want to actually see where your interval's at after the fourth or fifth round, it will go to sleep on you. It'll still keep dinging, but you won't be able to see the screen or see the time. So I would hit prevent sleeping. Um, social sharing, you can turn that off or on. That just basically asks you after every workout, do you wanna share this to Facebook? Um, automatic, automatic backup, always good to have. I like it when the alarm volume is turned way up because there's times when you're working hard, you just don't hear very good. Um, show hundreds, again, that's just personal preference. Um, preparation countdown. I like a three second warning. So I do the boxing bell. So it kind of dings three times and then gives me the beep to go. But I like a, I like a good warning, but you can change all this. You can do the voice three, two, one. Um, I know a lot of people prefer that one. I don't know. I, I like the bell. Three, two, one. So there's options. We're going to keep it as a boxing bell. Um, and then let's see, visual cue, you can turn that on or off. What that means is it's gonna flash. I like it when it flashes. Moving background. So this actually, as your time goes down, it like starts to kind of tick down almost like um, uh, one of those little, oh my gosh, I'm completely drawing a blank. It is not coming to me right now. One of those little things that you flip over and it counts down with the sand. Oh my gosh, but it's one of those. It'll like go down for you. Um, Let's see, I think we went through all those. Show controls for music. If you want to connect this to a playlist, you can actually pause the music in there. Um, I don't usually do this. I actually just go into my music and like hit the playlist before I go in, um, just cause that way I don't have to mess with it. Default playlist, that's what it's gonna go to. It'll have different options for you. Um, again, music volume, I like that turned up loud as well. And then just some other things. But my biggest things on this one, I would say would be the moving background the visual cue and then the uh, prevent sleep and the volumes and then however you want your countdown to go um, but you're going to want it loud you're not going to want to shut off on you and then your um, intervals totally a personal preference i still can't believe that's not coming hourglass oh my gosh that's hilarious Anyways, that is kind of your rundown of Jim Boss Interval Timer. Um, like I said, you can pr like make all kinds of crazy, crazy intervals if you like to. Um, show you a couple of my fancier ones. This one, like I said, this one's got like 57 intervals. Some of them I get really fancy and I make them like color coded and all this stuff. But that's again, just your preference. It's how much time you want to put into it. Um, some of those ones have taken me like 15, 20 minutes to set up where, you know, some of these, that's a 40 minute workout. It probably took me maybe eight seconds to set up. So anyways, have fun. That's Jim Boss. Hit me up if you have any questions.